bro, bro, and bro again. Bro. Now, bro. Now, bro. This shit is kind of wicked, bro. I read this fucking description. Look at this description, bro. I read this description. Look at this. Let me read it to you. K-Kitty found her mom's super head video and turned it, and it turned her into a freak. She was nine years old eating what? She was nine years old eating cat. Bro, what? Okay, that shit is crazy to me. You about to react to it. I know a lot of ch childhood trauma and shit. Whoever this nigga YouTube is, he be, he got he, this some good shit. I reacted to his other video of a female that did some shit in the library. <laughs> oh, I need to get this looked at like today. Hey. My bad about the advertisement. Kids. It's just daddy. Don't worry. We're going to get you fixed up. It really hurts. Let's get you some medicine. Go watch this video if you don't want my commentary. Cause I am going to be pausing and talking. DJ, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. You got your girl, K Michelle, K Kitty, what's good? K Kitty. K -Kitty that that name give off porn star vibes. But I'm always on. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, we good, we good, we good. Yeah. Mm. Well, first of all, welcome to DJ UTV. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Now tell us what you always be on. You know, what I always be on is <laughs> Booty Bandit. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I'm always Booty on Bandit. Everything. So everything and nothing but the same. You already know, like, she ain't really fucking with niggas. I can tell. Booty Bandit? Like, that's the first shit you say? You could say a dick bandit or some shit like that, but Booty Bandit? No, booty I'm Bandit? Um, I'm really open, so whatever piques my interest. Okay, okay, okay. So we got. That's the time. We got. K. Michelle, a.k.a. K. Kitty, better known as the Booty Bandit in the building. Yes. The Booty oh, Bandit? She got a cucumber. What is going on, bro? What is going on? You see the cucumber or I'm tripping? I was fucking with the office at first until I seen that cucumber on that table. Y'all see that shit? Um, I'm from and that's one old ass couch. Born and raised, born in Mercy Hospital. But um, I grew up in Cal City, Harvey, Creek, and that's that's about it, you know. So you from the her hair nice as hell though. From the birds, I'm out south. Okay. Yeah. And so tell us what it was like for you growing up. Oh, hold on. So tell us, uh, like, you had any, you got any siblings? Yes, I have one brother, okay. and um, my brother is older than me. Shout out to Eddie. You okay. might not want to be on here, but I don't give a fuck. Okay. You part of my yeah, 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 yeah. I don't blame your brother. My okay, my bad. I keep. I'm gonna stop pausing. But yeah, I don't blame your brother. Shit, I wouldn't want to be on there either. If your sister being claimed as being a a super head, a, a nine year old eating cat, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be around there either, cause that make me feel like I wasn't doing my job as a brother. If you doing some shit like Anyways, that. Uh, my brother Eddie. I got an older brother. It's just me and him. But basically, I we grew up together for uh, you know most of my childhood. But when he got to eighth grade, was it eighth or seventh? Seventh grade, he moved with my grandma, and he just was with with her, and I was by myself pretty much then. Okay. What was what's y'all age difference? Um, I'm 91, he 88. Okay. So y'all do the math. You right, know? right, right. Okay. But yeah. So. Uh, when you were growing up in the south suburbs, were you 91 uh, to 88. at a young age, or when did you start really liking boys? Um, well, I always liked boys, but I like girls, too, so um, I did both. Um, I'm I trying to find out about this cucumber, and I'm trying to find... And so, um, I pretty much was not promiscuous. Oh, uh, about this like, booty bandit so shit, because what's this booty bandit shit is about? Friends. Shout out to John Quees. Hey, girl. What's going on? What's going on? Going on? Man, John Quees, like, I was more so of like scared to get in trouble. So I, I was always scared to get in trouble. But back in the day when we were eight and nine, mm -hmm. she was turning on the, um, she was turning on the, like, when the, I don't know what it is, the pay per view. Right. You know how you flip through it when you got the cable channels and they had that porn on it and shit? She what? Had to get on that. And I used to be like, 
I used to be so scared, but John Cleese was like, she turned it all the way down and she used to always watch it. So then, <laughs> you know, we tried out eating each other's back right then. Thank a lot. Bro, what? I was about to say something, but what? Let me finish what I'm saying, then I'm going to get back to what the fuck she just said. But um, what I was trying to say is, it's kind of hard having a female that like niggas and bitches. Because nigga, yo, you you going to be scared for your bitch to be around anybody. You got to fear both genders? Like, bro, I'm about to go out with my friends. She go out with her friends, but she's gay. She could be liking the friends. Like, she could be liking other people. Now she like niggas and bitches. You can't win in that situation. Now, what the fuck she said? Let's rewind this. You know, we tried out eating each other back then. Eight and nine. Like, we was eight and nine. Eight and nine? Like, eight and nine? Bro, I was fucking watching Adult Swim at night. That's the most shit I was doing. Eight and nine is crazy, bro. I didn't even know that was a thing at eight and nine. I'm going to tell y'all some shit. I didn't even know females had a cat when I was nine. I thought we just fucked they booty hole or some shit. Like, I didn't I didn't know. I, I thought they pee and poo out they booty hole. I ain't even going to lie. Now, that's crazy. Eight and nine? Practice. I see if yeah, it was a boy or something she was doing that with. But a female, eight and nine, is crazy. Eight or nine? At age eight or nine, oh, yes. Wow. We're eating each other. Excuse me. Eating each other. And we were doing. We were, well, I was just so scared to get in trouble. Like that was my thing. I don't. I don't like to get in trouble, but I will get in trouble. Like, mm. but um, yeah, she was the one who used to just push me, like, to watch all the porn. Like, sh I didn't want to do it. We were right across the hall from my mom's room, but she was into watching it, and I was just like, ah. But I, of course, I. I mean, I didn't want to do it, but I didn't. I did it. And I didn't want so to how you managed to do that? Like y'all didn't make no sounds or nothing? I enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so I've been doing that for a while. And uh, in, up until I was 12, I was on a basketball team. Um, I remember Angelique Bryant, shout out to you. Um, Angelique Bryant, we <laughs> was <laughs> dry hopping. Are you dropping my... real names? I'm right dropping now, real names. Man. That's bro. crazy. <laughs> Don't fuck with her if you ain't trying to get your name dropped. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Don't fuck with her, cause I heard. Look, I what she what they call her the booty bandit. If y'all freaky ass niggas into that nasty shit, don't fuck with her, cause she definitely gonna have your name all over the internet. Oh, y'all gonna be in this shit. My ex husband was like, "Don't drop my name. I'm dropping your name." Damn. <laughs> okay. But yeah, shout out to her, cause you know, I mean, it's part of everybody, you know, um, journey. truth mm -hmm. and journey, like, mm -hmm. you know, and. I'm open, so y'all need to live in y'all truth. Everybody needs to live in their truth. Okay. I can't, man, name dropping is crazy, though. So, so you say you got turned out around eight or nine years old by, by another young lady. Yeah. So. How old was that young lady? Before you were sucking. Yes. Wow. But I, I like sucking more than I eat. Okay. Or other way around. So tell us that first experience. The first pussy eating experience? No, the first uh, penis sucking experience. Oh, first penis. He had to use the professional word penis. I remember back that day. I wish I could get so early. Uh, it's been that many? No, no, it's not that many. That many. It's that many, but not the first of right. that many. I mean, everybody um, remember the first, right? Maybe, I want to say my first type of thing, maybe it could be my daughter's father. Okay. So I was 15. No, that ain't it. <laughs> that is definitely not it. I just was sucking. I remember watching <laughs> Korea Stephen. That's how I got into it. Superhead. No, Superhead. Yes, when she was on the blue couch. Shout out to Korean Stephen. Bitch, you the one who taught me everything I know. And I was Damn. Like, That's good. But, um, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Um, we got I one don't of know Superhead the, babies in the building. So I'm, a, I'm the blue couch. I done found it. I found it. I... She was on a blue couch. What was her name? Was Where Olivia? Mr. Marcus at? Mr. Marcus behind the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know who the... I can't tell you really who the first one was because I probably was... 
Well, I want to say, mm, I don't. I, I honestly don't know who the first uh, I said, but if I want to just go back. Okay, so you so you telling can't. us you were inspired by Superhead? I was inspired by Superhead. Superhead. At age fifteen. At age. 15. What is Superhead? Yes. Okay, cool. So, so I well, I found the I found the movie. Shout out to my mama. But I, know. <laughs> I found the movie um, when I lived in Crete, and I put it on and I watched it and I just I don't know I just bro, studied it and I just bro like imagine you the mama right, and you watching your daughter interview bro. Like, bro, y'all fathers need to stay in y'all child life, bro. Like, you really won't... Even if you don't care about your child, I understand it. I don't understand, but... If I have a child, I'm gonna do everything I can. But, like, I'm just saying, even, like, if you don't want a child and shit, at least be in your life a, a little bit. Because look what this shit can lead to, bro. Nine years old, eating cat is crazy. Like, bro... Take your child out. Take do let them experience being a child. Like nine years old, bro. Nigga barely know multiplication. Wait, probably I don't know. I forgot how that school system shit work. But like damn. Nine? Ever since then I just knew how to I just really knew how to suck and I was just cold at at, at that age. Like I mean I wasn't probably that cold, but I knew I was I knew I was on to something. On to something. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't no getting pregnant. <laughs> that's that's very interesting, right? Because who am I to judge? I won't, right? Mm -hmm. So I could say, like, we the same age, you know? And so if I'm watching the Superhead and, and, and Mr. Marcus joint, you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. young as hell, just getting my rocks off, yeah. you feel me? But to know that there was a young lady the same age, she watching it and she learning how to do her some tricks. Heck, yeah. This shit is crazy. Yeah. That's you what I'm saying. How, you know how to this come and what makes you come. And I'm over here like, all right, what she do? Mm. She did that like this and the two hand. I, I, I got it. I done figured it out. I cracked the code though. I feel like I cracked That's the code. That's crazy. So you was yeah. training for this shit at eight? Damn. So she a got got warrior. So for sure, for sure. See, see these folks put this shit on the internet. Y'all did it. Y'all see how fried our it. brains. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all did it. That wasn't my fault. But to our defense, I was the one of that eight and nine. But with the woman, I wasn't doing it with the man. So. Well, eventually you was doing it with a man. So. Yeah, cause cause Cut. I ass made that video. Cut. So her mama really made the video. Oh, I'm just tripping. I'm confused. But, Bo, how nasty you got to be to be nine years old doing that shit, bro? Like, I'm telling you, the most I deal was watch adults swim. Like, I might be, I, I guess I'm just a lame nigga. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. But we watched out. I'm going at y'all niggas in another video. Hey, y'all fathers, y'all niggas that can't pull out. Be prepared to be a father, bro. Like, how you run from being a father? Like, I know it's hard with money and shit. I know, I understand that shit. But if you got enough energy to put your dick in a female and thrust it for at least, like, a hundred strokes or some shit, you got enough energy to take care of a child. I know it take a lot to take care of a child. But it also take a lot for you to win the... When okay, it uh, it also take a lot for you to win the, the love of a female to trust you with their body, and you gonna fucking run away once you cause you the cause of them being pregnant, and you ain't gonna be with them while they stomach big, while they gotta push it out, and bro, you is a bitch, like for real. I'm just saying, you is a bitch, bro. Do you understand how much pain that is for you to just be running out of children' life and shit? Even like, okay, even if the baby mama crazy, bro, you decided to put a baby in that, bro. That's your sponsor. That's your child. Let me tell y'all a thing. I know females be having more control over the child, but that's literally more your child than her child. Yeah, she hold it, but that came out of you. And you, she hold your baby, going through all that pain, and that's basically your shit. And you ain't gonna be there with her while she go through that shit. Like what y'all what y'all niggas don't just use a condom or just don't fuck at all if you not like that's my opinion. Cause that shit crazy to me.
But alright, I'm gonna let y'all niggas in another video. Get at me with go f like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to. Put in the comments how y'all feel about the situation. Love y'all niggas, and I'm gonna let y'all niggas in another video.